breast engorgement and blocked milk ducts present as painful, tight, swelling of the breast as a result of too much milk. They can cause throbbing pain, hard tender lumps and redness. It may can feel better after feeding but a blocked duct may still feel firm under the skin and if left untreated can lead to mastitis. Engorgement commonly occurs in the early days of breastfeeding when your milk comes in with increased blood flow to the tissues, or as a response to cluster feeding, but blocked ducts can happen anytime and can result in reduced milk output. Mastitis is a bacterial infection or inflammation of the breast. The body thinks the excess milk is a foreign substance and mounts an immune response making you unwell slash feverish, you may need antibiotics and in very worst cases an abscess can form needing surgical intervention. Typical causes are Rushed feeding equals incomplete emptying Mist feeds slash pumping, bottle feeding between breast feeds Poor latch slash feeding technique Wearing too tight clothing Carrying something heavy on that side compressing the tissues. Nipple bleb thin white membrane blocking the exit at the nipple can also be from a poor latch or pump attachment. Here are a few treatments. Hydration. Rest. Pumping or feeding regularly and completely. Changing position. Anti-inflammatories. Massage. Kinesiotaping. Ultrasound. Acupuncture. Warm baths or showers. Cabbage leaves. Warm or cold compresses. Hydration drinking plenty of water will help keep your milk supply up. More milk means more feeding sessions and more opportunities to clear clogs and discomfort. Rest sleep when the baby sleeps, and hands up I think I've done that once in five months, but doing something restful can still be beneficial. Just not rushing round the house getting all the housework done as quickly and silently as possible. A stressed mom is more prone to mastitis. Feeding slash pumping regularly start on the affected side first and feed often and on cue. With a blocked duct it may be necessary to pump between feeds but not with early lactation engorgement. However, if the breast is too full and hard for baby to latch properly it may help to pump a but before feeding to soften the area and lengthen the nipple. Changing position different positions work better for different babies, and uneven pressure on the breast may contribute to a blockage. Anti-inflammatories can be effective, but if in doubt talk to a pharmacist or your GP. Massage gently help mobilize the tissues and aid drainage, reducing pain and swelling. It can also help clear the blockage. This is not about pummeling the boob like a muscle, but light stroking towards the lymph ducts in the armpit to help swelling. Kinesiotaping the lift of the skin away from the tissues underneath when the tape is applied is said to aid circulation for reduction in swelling. This is a common approach used to treat other areas of the body but it may use for engorgement or blocked ducts. It must not be used on sites of infection i.e. active mastitis. Therapeutic ultrasound is one of the most commonly advertised treatments for these conditions. The sound waves vibrate the tissues, which helps to soften and loosen the blockage. They also promote circulation in the swollen tissues via acoustic streaming to flush it out. Acupuncture is an effective treatment for pain relief and treating imbalances in the body. Acupuncture was found to be as effective as more conventional treatments and may result in reduced abscess size and mastitis. Hot baths slash showers heat softens the blockage to help clear it and help milk flow. Heat dilates blood vessels which can help flush inflammation. If you don't have a bath it is suggested that you fill a bowl with warm water and Epsom salts and lean over it submerging the breast. Using the shower head you could also gently massage with the water jets. Also relaxing in the bath may help the stressed mums. Nothing to lose trying this one. Cabbage leaves dash. It's not just an old wife's tale. There is some research that suggests putting chilled cabbage leaves on the breast reduces pain and swelling. Cabbage leaves apparently contain mustard oil which is a home remedy for anti-inflammatory treatment. Cold compresses are effective for pain relief and reducing swelling between feeds. But best not done immediately before a feed as the cold constricts the vessels. Medical help. As with every research topic, more research is needed to be conclusive as to the best treatment approach. All of these listed here are safe to try, but as I mentioned before, 
if your symptoms persist, you become unwell, or the condition recurs, seek medical help.